Right, stop there. Straight away, just keep nice and steady if you can. I'm getting a good view. Tonsils are not that big. Sore looking tonsils, or it's hard to be certain because the, the light of the camera is not brilliant. Yeah, try and give me a view of your right hand tonsil. It looks slightly bigger. That's it. You should be an ENT surgeon. <laughs> it's so hard because there's a slight delay in the camera. Yeah. So I think I'm there, but I'm not. Doing pretty well. Try and give me another view just in the middle of both tonsils if you can. So. Let me get the camera the right way. It's upside down, which doesn't help. It doesn't help. All right. That's the right way out now, that's good. That's good, that's great. Just keep fairly still there. Lovely, I can see a hole in that right tonsil where you're putting in your tonsil stones. Nice view, good low tongue. And just try and give me a view back to the other side, to the left tonsil again. There it is. A bit smaller the left side, a bit lower. But again, a gap visible at the top of the tonsil yeah. where food is probably trapping. So you're getting tonsil stones and you're getting tonsillitis. Yeah. I think we can do those under local anesthetic. It's absolutely fine. Not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else going on there. I can see exactly where the problem lies. So what about to your nose? Yeah, I'm going to your nose. See, we've got, we got polyps there. I've been trying. It's a strange feeling putting a camera in your nose, but that's scope is... <laughs> It isn't the smallest one I've got. I, I sent you a bigger one for tonsils rather than noses, you see. So you can see, some, we can't see a lot in there. I don't think there's much point in pursuing the nose, I'll be honest. No. I think we can go back to the normal uh, camera now. It's absolutely fine. Okay. 